What you just saw was the introduction to Mega Man X3 that you can only see on PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. But for me personally, I was exposed to this version of the game, which is Super Nintendo. So I personally never played this on original hardware, just the first one. X2 I played when I purchased it off of the Wii Shop channel, shout out to the Wii Shop channel. And X3, I remember seeing a whole bunch of walkthroughs on it back in the day. Never had my full hands-on impression until finally it comes out on the Wii U virtual console in the eShop. So I was scrounging around the Wii Shop channel trying to figure out, you know, where it was. And no, the Wii just didn't have it. <laughs> it only went up to X2. So Finally, when it got on the Wii U Virtual Console and then eventually 3DS. I think new 3DS, but... Actually, no, it feels like new 3DS. Um... Nope, I, uh, I just went and went on completely blind, hands-on. Well, not blind, because I saw you want those on it. But, nope, as a hands-on impression, because for me personally, there's a big difference. <clears throat> Excuse me. Big difference between hands on and just seeing it played out. So, play this, I did. Back when the Wii U had his virtual console on the eShop. Shoutouts to the Wii U and his virtual console and its eShop. Oh, man. Uh, at the time of this recording, the Nintendo Direct is tomorrow and normally i don't watch those because why would i i just wait it out and see what trailers are coming out see what piques my interest and hopefully as much as i'm against it um hopefully they add more games that people want on the switch, on, switch online service but um outside of that this is also available on the mega man x collection for the gamecube and ps2 only the PS1 version with the intro from Saturn. I think it has like better frame rate. And then the Super Nintendo version is only on the X Legacy Collection, Volume 1. So if anyone was hoping to get this uh, PS1 Saturn version of the game on X Legacy Collection, then sorry to say that's not going to happen. Also, I love this tune. So yeah, here we are, X3, the last of the X trilogy on Super Nintendo. We also got sound here. So how's the options? Uh, same as always, but also with a different color. So yeah. Um, X3 may be the weakest of the trilogy, but it still finds a way to go out with a bang even though it's kind of a whimper, but for what X3 does, even though it was made by a, a totally different studio in Capcom, I still think that X3 holds up significantly well. Not so much like X1 and X2, but I'll give props to it when it deserves it. So here it is, man. The last hurrah for the Super Nintendo, X3. Also, he never fights these, like the Bee Blader equivalent. Like, in terms of gameplay. Alright, inside's all his. Alright. 
Right inside. You know what? I will say that uh, unlike the the last two or three, if you played a stream, this one is kind of borrowing some from the uh, classic side. Going up, going down, climbing ladders. So I think this might be a classic take on the X formula. So happens to have a hanger on the side. All right, X is gone, so that only leaves his partner in crime. There's a hand get key up top there, and it's gonna drop some spike balls. So, yep, nope, start from the left and the right. Do your left, do your right, do your left, do your right to the sky. And no, the Super Nintendo controller did not have a shanking functionality because it didn't really exist. Can't shake your booty with that one. And, uh oh Ah, oh, you knew about the saber. Ooh! Nope. There you are. You know, I wonder if it's possible to free him before defeating Mac. Because, like, the thing, yeah, you free him, but then you team up to fight him. But it's a shame that Mac is just a after that after that. You know, I'd learn more about him. Alright, no place to go but up. Behold, now the giant. Actually, it is way more challenging than the than McKinley from the Replay Factory next to. But they go down all the same. I like how the best is full. Yep, like the last one. Yep, you know it. Yep, and here's a password. Kind of looking less lively than compared to the other ones, but uh, if there's one thing I'll get for this password system, despite how simplistic this soundtrack is, it's kind of memorable for me. I think it's a good slow head bop. the drums in this one all right and here we are here's the field uh taking notes from uh x2 uh we got our selection we have our map and this one really 
I'm gonna say triple down on the sea life because this whole row here is in the sea life. A catfish, crawfish, and then we have a seahorse. And then for the big boys, got a buffalo and a rhino. And then for Gravity Beetle, kind of heavy, I guess. And then for the more agile, uh, Blast Horden and uh, Neon Tiger here. So, really bringing it back to how X2 looks. And then we get this big open field in the middle there. So, could be something later down the line. But, yep. The stage has been set. Your turn. <laughs> 